boards. The last real big test you need to study for in dental school. Only $800, it's no big deal. Boards is a very big deal. It brought a lot of stress into my life and into the lives of many other dental students. Maybe even yours. If not now, in the future. Before I could sign up for boards, I had to have a study plan and meet with one of the deans and have that study plan approved. My plan was pretty simple. I would watch the mental dental videos and then I would do the associated Anki cards each day. Thank you so much to Dr. Ryan and to the French dentist for making those resources for us. You were absolute lifesavers. Once I finished the mental dental videos, I would then go on and do practice questions using board vitals because that was a resource included in our tuition and fees, so I'd already paid for it. Along with those practice questions, I would continue to review the Anki cards so that I could remember all of that material and review it regularly. I sat down and figured out how many videos I would need to watch each day and how many cards I would go through each day so that I could cover that material multiple times in my preparation. My plan was approved and I signed up for boards. I gave myself three months to study. That was plenty of time. If you were really crunched, I think you could do it in a month. Two months is probably a good spot for most people. Anything more than three months and you're gonna start dragging it out and you'll either burn out you won't study effectively or you'll procrastinate and not start studying until you have two months left anyway. I studied for about three or four hours every day. I had a pretty set schedule showing up here or here at 8 a.m. I would set a timer for an hour and a half and study during that time, take a 15 minute break and then reset my timer and study for another hour and a half. I studied Monday through Saturday making sure to take a day off to avoid burnout. The first week or so was a lot of trial and error, trying to figure out how much material I could cover in a day without it being too overwhelming or too much. The first day I watched about two hours worth of mental dental videos. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here. At one and a half times speed, which brought it down to about an hour and a half and then it took me about an hour and a half to make it through a hundred of the Anki cards associated with those videos out of the 340 cards that were set aside for me to learn that day. That was way too much and I was up late studying that night trying to cover those cards so that I wouldn't fall behind. And I quickly learned that that was too much and that it wasn't the videos that were going to be time consuming, but learning and reviewing the flashcards that was going to take up the majority of my time studying. I came to settle on studying about 250 Anki cards every day. Half of that being new cards associated with the videos I covered in a day, and the other half being review cards from previous day's material. That amount of cards ended up being about an hour's worth of mental dental videos, but I got used to watching those videos on two times speed, so that drastically cut down the watch time and gave me more time to spend studying and reviewing the flashcards. This was how I studied for the first 45 days or so. It's the same thing day after day until I made it through all of the mental dental videos and all of the associated Anki cards. Once I made it to this point, I increased the number of Anki cards that I covered each day to 300 because at this point it was all just reviewing the material that I had already seen. I also incorporated practice questions from Board Vitals and I did 125 practice questions each day. 75 questions were from their part two study material and the other 75 questions were from their IMBDE study materials. I had talked with some of the students in the class above me that had a 100% pass rate and they suggested only doing the easy and moderate questions and that the hard or difficult questions were overkill. So to not worry about doing those. I had a couple complaints about board vitals as I used it to study. One was that it was never 75 questions even though that's what I set up my custom quizzes for and also they always included the 
hard questions, at least a couple here and there, even though I never selected those as an option to be included in my custom quizzes that I was studying from. And also some of the easy questions were harder than the hard questions that ended up getting incorporated, which didn't make sense to me, so I don't know how the difficulty of those questions is determined, but that was also kind of strange to me. So I spent the next couple weeks doing practice questions and reviewing my Anki cards as my studying for the day. Then the end of February hit. I had told myself that I was only going to use the mental dental videos, the Anki cards, and board vitals because I didn't want to spend any more money than I had already spent in mental dental and the Anki cards were free resources. But I completely freaked out. I got super stressed, worrying that I would forget everything that I'd studied, that they wouldn't cover everything that I needed to know, and that I wouldn't pass. All of this happened a month before my exam date. So I panicked and I subscribed to IMBDE Bootcamp. And on top of that, I was also super freaked out because I hadn't covered all of the mental dental videos. There are some that the Anki cards don't cover. I had only watched the ones that had associated Anki cards with them and I was freaked out that I needed to watch all of these other playlists and so I spent an entire week watching the head and neck playlist and the radiology playlist and making Anki cards for those, which took hours of studying and many late nights. Looking back, I can say that it was a complete waste of my time, but it felt like the thing to do in the moment. I didn't complete the other playlists from Mental Dental, so the ones that have the Anki cards associated with them is more than adequate. After this week, I got right back into doing practice questions using Bootcamp. I had figured that doing 200 practice questions a day, I would be able to make it through all of the questions four times before my exam, which I thought would be super helpful and plenty of repetition and practice. Shortly after getting boot camp, I did stop reviewing the Anki cards and I focused solely on the explanations that boot camp offers as you go through each of the questions. I also heavily utilized the built-in tutors that boot camp has, which is where I think you get the most value and is really what might make it worth it. Ultimately, I'm not so sure if Bootcamp is worth it. It's a good resource, but I don't know if it's necessary or if it's any better than the mental dental videos and the Anki cards that are already there and are free. The week leading up to my exam, I made sure to read through the ADA Code of Ethics, and I also went over some resources that I got from my classmates that you can find from your upperclassmen. So be sure and ask around for some of those documents. I also memorized a few things during this time, such as the stages of hypertension, uh, diabetes, calcification times, eruption times, so that I wouldn't forget those things or mix them up during my exam. Something else I did the week before my exam that I would highly recommend you do is driving to the testing center, making sure you know where it is, that you know where you can park, so that you aren't scrambling to figure all of that out the day you take your boards. To kind of summarize all of this, I think the absolutely essential resources are Mental Dental and the Anki cards associated with those videos. Other than that, you can find different things to do practice questions in. There's a new resource that I don't know anything about other than it's called INBDE Booster. It's made by the company who does DAT Booster, I believe. And right now, at the time of recording this video, it's free. So I'd recommend checking that out. It seems like it would be a pretty good resource and it's free. So let me know in the comments below if you use that or what resources you did use, what you found helpful or not helpful so that we can help everyone pass boards because I wouldn't wish it upon anyone to have to retake boards. I wish you all the best of luck studying and taking your boards.